Meanwhile, as deadly clashes continue in a Palestinian camp in Lebanon, the head of the armed group Hezbollah has now called for a halt to days of fighting between the rival Palestinian factions. At least 11 people have been killed and dozens wounded in the camp since fighting broke out on Saturday between the mainstream faction Fatah and the Islamist militants. The head of Lebanon-based Hezbollah group has said that anyone who could pressure, make contact or make an effort to secure a truce should do so. By long-standing convention, the Lebanese security services do not enter Palestinian refugee camps in the country, which leaves the factions themselves to handle security. So far, the negotiations between the rival factions have failed to secure a lasting ceasefire. At least 2,000 people have fled their homes in the camp since the violence broke out. And this is according to the United Nations Agency for the Palestine Refugees. The U.S. State Department has also reacted to the clashes and has called for the rival factions to respect the protection of the civilians there. We continue to follow the alarming reports of escalating violence in the refugee camp that has reportedly resulted in at least 11 deaths and many injured, including two children with at least 2,000 people displaced. We are especially concerned by reports that the violence has damaged at least two schools operated by UNRWA. We applaud UNRWA's work to provide emergency shelter and humanitarian services to the displaced, and we call on all factions in the camp to respect the protection and dignity of civilians and uh, public and private property, including schools and health care facilities, and to abide by the humanitarian pr principles of neutrality, impartiality, and independence, including with respect to medical care.